All right, the Titan, Groovy Entertainment. Today, we got another unboxing episode to do. Hey, we got all these packages. So, this would be interesting to see what's in all four of these packages. So, let's get started. There we go. Let's open this one first. It's on top. Now, let's see. No, don't tell me what, what kind of thing this one's doing. And sometimes I can read the name tags on the packages and see where, what kind of package is going to be. But not this guy. <laughs> okay, we got books. Now we got some Harris Jordan books. Let's see what year these are from. Now, you saw me stop reading Carrier's George for a while because I wanted to try to get all the books in order to try to see if I could figure out more about this character. I think this might help me. Why do you know, Dusty? Because Carrier's George bakes a cake from 1990. Okay, this is a 1990 book. So, this would be interesting. We got a book from the 90s. Oh, I'll put it here. Then we got Curious George at the beat. From 1988. Our next one, Curious George goes shutting. I don't know if this is a new character or not, but we'll find out. <laughs> This is for 1984. Looks like this. Curious George go camping. I'm guessing, looking at the picture, I think it's from the 80s also. And this came from my library. And whoever had the book had this book back in 1992. April. Yeah, April. And I was 10 years old in that year. This is it from 1990? This is another 90 book. So now we got two 90s. Too bad I can't figure out the real order of the Carrier George thing. But if we go by date order, it should help me out a little better. And there's no site saying what book would be in what order. Carrier George goes to the dentist. Let's see, 1989. Oh, God. Ain't this crazy? He's reading his own book. <laughs> this is another Curious George kind of doctor book. I think the last book we read, he went to the hospital. And then, he, and then the other books he read, he went to the hospital because he had broken his foot or something. Curious George goes to an air show. Now, looking at this picture, this looks like it's from the, the 80s. Look at that guy's face. That's not a 1990 John. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh, okay, I was wrong. 1990. Now, the man with the hat is looking like David Safil on the Alvin and the Chuckle show. Curious George go to a restaurant. Now, you will be hearing these books down the line because we still got the other stuff we're reading. Curious, okay, this is from 1988. And this is Curious George looking like this. So, this is going to be interesting reading all these, all these books. Carrier's George British a annulment park. I mean backwards, that's why. I have no clue what year this is from. 
1988. They say the book came from a film. Now, I don't know what the film series is. I have no clue if this was a movie at the theater, movie on the T, on like a PBS movie special, or or one of the regular channels. But you can leave it in the comments. What was this film series about? Because I have a VCR tape of Carrie George in kind of like Harrison kind of filmmaking. I th yeah, I think it's Plato and whatever they did. Now, this is the first Carrie George book that just came with the collection. That we don't have to look at this because I'm not reading this book twice. So that's the first one. Now, these are books. Because thrift, thrift books are books only. <laughs> so let's see, is, is this going to be more of the Curious George collection or another collection? And then we open the box of glass. Okay, there goes the commercial. Back to our regular scarab program. Now, and you saw me opening this package. You see what's inside the package now. Oh, okay. I've got Curious George. Go to the laundry net. Let's do this one. It's in my hand. Now, this looks like it's from the 80s, but I've been getting kind of food. Some of these 80s pictures are from the 90s. This came from some kind of high school or something. And this is from 1987. Okay, we got an 87. Looks like this. Now, we got a Batman book now. Five Batman, hey, Batman five minute stories. Now, this is going to be interesting because I did some Batman stuff on the channel either this year or last year. I know it was last year. I don't know if I did any this year. Let's see how many stories are in this book and how new they are. Let's see. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get nine stories. And these are from 2013 to 2017. And it's got some pictures. I'm thinking this is all new Batman stuff because. The John are different than when I used to watch the Batman show. Yeah, but think about it. I saw the 1990 Batman cartoon when I was a, a teenager or whatever. Then I saw the 80 Batman stuff from the 80s. And so I, I saw a lot of the old Batman stuff growing up. So this is going to be interesting. Let's show you a good guy and a bad guy, good guy. And the Riddler with Bat. See Batgirl and Batman. Now I'm hoping this won't be crazy. Because nowadays they've been kind of making the comic books have a lot of that crazy stuff in it, like gays and all that kind of stuff. So I'm hoping they don't have none of this in there. Okay, it won't be right reading a comic book like that. It, it came, it's from the, this is kind of before, when, before President Trump came to office in the, that 2015 to 14 and all that. Now, we got this box. Now, I don't know what's inside this box. This box is light. So whoever paid money for this box was crazy. Boy. Trying to find a way to open it. They take this thing real good. Yeah, because any book that was made before, I think 2015, 16, I think anything in 2015, 16, it, 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 they were okay books. They didn't go trading with the comic book stuff until the 18th. I find out too many books that I read that are brand brand new.
Boy. As long as you get whatever out of its box, I don't have to open the box at all, but. <laughs> This little thing in that one box. Let's see if I can just rip it open. I don't need a bag. Oh, I think a nap. They can't use a clean bag. Okay, we got we got carrot sword go go to school. I'm taking out the package. Cause this thing is just nasty. We don't need that. There we go. And it, it, a book on tape. What what's gonna be? It'll be a two in one. I'll read the book first, and then I'll play the tape second. And I'm hoping the tape works. But right now, it don't look. It looks like something wrong with the tape. I hope it's not. If it is, we just read the book. But you can see the tape. But you probably can't see it. But the tape looks kind of warped. And I never saw a cassette tape look like this before. This is, see, the tape say 1990. What did the book says? The book kind of beat up, too. The book said 1989. So the book came out first, and the tape came out second. Now, the book looked kind of either waterlogged or just wrinkled. Just like this. So... We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Could I play the tape when I'm done with the recording and see what the tape sound like? And if the tape ain't working, then it'll be only a book. Now, this is a big box. And this thing has got weight to it. But I have no clue inside this box at all. I might buy the stuff, but it takes a long time to get to me that I just don't know what I'm getting. Let's do it this way. I'm trying to find safe ways to open in the box. Because I don't want no blood on camera. <laughs> yeah, we got this stuff. Where that open this first, and we'll open the other package second. Okay, now let's open this. Wow, I lost my scissors. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of books on tape. I'll pick out the first one and dig for the tape for the book. Okay, author beat the president. And this is the tape that goes with it. This is it from 1996 to 1991. So I'm thinking the tape came out in 1996 and the book is from 1991. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, I was right. Yeah, it looks like this. Now, we did one of these on the channel for Valentine's Day. We did like an 80, uh, I think it was that 1980 book. Now we got a 1991 book, 11 years later. Now, I did. I used to read this character way back when I was little, but I hadn't read him in a long, long time. This would be brand new to me. Okay, our next one is The Grumpy Morning. Let's see, let's see what that tape looks like. Oh, here we go. This is from, this is a short book. 19, 1998 or 1999. It's hard to put too many years on things because things get re-copyrighted. 1998. Okay. 
just like this. So the book looked easy. I even read the book for the set for the first channel also. The book looked too hard. It'll only be stuck for the second channel. And this was made for a a, a first year old. So I actually made to read this one. The author book, you might not hear me read at all. But we'll see. We got the night before Christmas. Yeah, folks, I had to make sure I was reading it right. Now, where'd that tape at? Here we go. This is from 2000. Let's see what the tape looked like. Okay, we got so got tape. I hadn't been complaining about these because right now these are in good shape. Even this blue one. I never saw a blue cassette before. But let's see. When the tape looks kind of crazy, then I'll then I then I start complaining. Because you can't play a broken tape. You can play a broken record sometimes, but a tape is unplayable no matter what. This is from 1999. And it looks like this. So this won't be a sighting. Another a, 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 another remix of a story we play a lot of times on my second channel. Our next one. Dinner at the Piano Palace. It's like a Chinese restaurant. Let's see. 1991, 1996. Okay, the, the tape came out five years later. See what the tape looks like before I clip the books. Okay, we got tape. And it looked like this. So we might be able to read this. Well, I should, I should, I should be able to read this one. <laughs> I keep saying we too many times. Let's see, uh, dog breath. Dog breath, where are you? Here we go. Let's see what the tape looks like. 1996. Looks like that. Look, look nice. And it seems like the book came came out in 1994. Mm. Yep. Oh, this is nice. These are some big words. I can see these words. But as you see, in some of my reading, the words are kind of so small. Are they put them in front of uh, cheese and stuff? Like, like in the Thomas books, in the little engine. Why why would you write words in, in, in front of a tree or something? It makes it hard for the person to read it. Simple pictures are best. Now, looking at this thing, it looks kind of antique. Because you got the little boy with a, with a 1970 or 60 hairstyle. So let's see what the, what the tape says. Okay, the book came out in 1976, and the tape came out in 1994. Boy, that's a long, that's a long time. Almost 20 years different. Let's see what the picture looks like. Looks like this. And our last book is the very first thing given. Now, we, if you saw it in the, one of my old unboxing episodes, I think 2022, I had a, I think, given book that you didn't see me read at all because I couldn't read it at all. <laughs> it was just too hard to read. So I'm hoping I have better luck with this one. This is from 19... Well, Okay, I was, okay, 2002. I'll just show you the book it's in my hand. I'm so used to say 1990. I don't say 2000 much. <laughs> it looks like this. And it looks, looks kind of easy to read. 
So I might have a good luck with this book. First, you won't hear this in Phil's thing given time. And the tape looks like this. Okay, the same person that did one of these other things. Yeah, this one. So the same person who did this one did, did both of these. Okay. It's nice when you get to see the uh, people name and all the, 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 the players. I never paid attention to the people who make these things. That was the first time I remember that name. So all we got today... And I will not hold up the tapes because they'll fall and break and it won't be no good to nobody. But I hold the books up. Ah, this is going to be interesting. Holding all these books up. So, we got all these books today. If you read any of these books back when they were out there, when they first came out, and like I said, if you know what kind of film Harris Jordan was, because these yellow book keep saying Curious George adapt from a Curious George film or films. You leave it in the comments. I never knew there was a film about Curious George. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.